Green Tool Belt. I just wanted to run through some of the items which I've chosen to be on my Lean Tool Belt. The reason I would call it a Lean Tool Belt, um, I've optimized it for saving time, effort, wasted motion, space, all of the tools that I use regularly and most often are right here. I've chosen items that serve multiple functions so that I can cut down on the number of items that it takes to accomplish my everyday tasks. But primarily because everything I need is typically right here, it saves me time wasting trips to the truck over and over. In fact, one of the most important points of this video is that as soon as I get out of the truck, I put my tool belt on. Uh, whether I'm going to take a job walk or even just to go talk to the superintendent, do a review of the workload ahead, I've got everything that I need with me just in case I need to set or plan a control point, um, set some working points, take a measurement with my tape measure, any of the above. That thing goes on me as soon as I get out of the truck. Okay, what's time saving or unique about this tool belt? Um, let's go through the items quickly one at a time. Uh, number one, snap on, snap off. No wasted adjustment every time. In fact, this tool belt was adjusted to my waist size once. I put a couple of rivets in it and now I just snap it on and it fits perfectly every day. It's not sagging or drooping throughout the day and I'm not readjusting it. I have two paint can pouches. One of them always has a can of paint in it, pink in case I need to mark something up, like control. If I'm working uh, inside a building on finished concrete, I might have a can of spray lacquer in here to cover over marks made on the concrete for grid line or offset references. Uh, the second pouch is leather. When I'm doing building layout, I'll actually put my plumb bob and gammon reel in this pouch. Uh, because it's leather, my plumb bob point won't poke through. I use my plumb bob for references to line, and I typically keep my peanut prism um, with the C-clamp that clamps right onto the plumb bob string uh, in my vest pocket so that I've got a rod of any height that uh, repeats a really good line whenever I need it. When I'm not doing building layout and I'm doing some sort of staking, I'll usually fill this bag with 60D nails that have the little stake chaser on them so that they're easy to see. This bag holds about 15 nails at a time so that I've got quick access to them while I'm working and I'll show you where I put the rest when I'm doing larger tasks. Again, I've got my paint can with me, a marker and a backup marker in case I lose one, it dries out, I write on something that's a little bit dusty uh, and my marker's not giving me nice clean marks anymore, I'll switch to a backup. Um, instead of carrying around a really large and heavy groundbreaking tool, I found that a railroad spike is light, easy to carry, and perfectly penetrates the ground ahead of any wooden hub or a lath. Um, I've got this little loop that I've attached a couple um, S clips to. I always carry a broom um, and my tack ball with me. I probably use this broom almost as much as I use my hammer. Um, clearing areas before I paint them or mark them to make sure that my marks last. The same reason I might uh, be carrying lacquer when I'm working inside the building. I refill this tack ball anytime tacks are running low. I carry these pliers with me so that I can cut wire if necessary, so that I can untie tie wire or uh, tons of other functions, tighten pieces of equipment. This gets a lot of interesting head nods, but it's a really versatile tool. I use this for a couple of things. A lot of surveyors carry a machete so that they can cut line. Um, I used to carry a small set of clippers on here, but I've noticed that the weight of this easily allows me to go break off small branches when I'm looking at line. And then the rounded edge on the knife, I'm sure lots of you are familiar with this. If you've created an error on a lath and you've got a rounded blade, you can use that rounded blade to shave some of the numbers off uh, and fix mistakes if necessary or if you don't have the spare lath to back up the task. A rounded blade knife will do a really great job of the same. I used to carry a Leatherman Wave, that rounded knife did a great job, but then I would also need a machete when I needed a machete, so I felt like this tool did both of those jobs for me. I really like this style of a hammer holder. You know, the hammer swings freely when I'm walking, doesn't get bound when I kneel over or do different tasks, and I like that after I've removed it to use it, instead of having to do the up-down to put it back in, I can just snap it in against my waist. So I was just saving a little motion there since I use it so often. Tape measure, always with me, always, always, always. 
Um, and then a little pouch for my phone so I could hear it, find it, feel it vibrate if the sound was off or it was ringing and I can make sure to receive important calls at the right time. I appreciate that everything is nice and easy to access. Whether I'm kneeling down or standing up, everything maintains a nice slim profile so that I'm working closer to the tripod. My bags don't bump the legs and cause me to have to waste time resetting up the instrument. Along with a knee pad, I find that I always kneel on the same knee. In fact, I plan to do so. It's not too difficult. So I didn't actually need to waste time putting on a second one every day. I just stuck to the one that I use regularly. A couple of honorable mentions. I really like these lath carriers. They stand upright. They've got a nice aluminum base, so it's not heavy. They don't fall over when you set them down. You can stack easily 50 lath in one of these things before it's at max capacity. You've got extra pocket for 60 D nails, hubs, more flagging. They're really handy and they don't take up a lot of space. And if you're working in a hot environment like we are out here in Phoenix, it's a great place to carry a water jug or something else to keep yourself hydrated while you're out in the field. Among the honorable mentions, I always keep my vest stocked with a concrete scribe, some sort of a red writing implement, a black writing implement. I'll keep target cards for line, as it's easy to go through several when performing building layout. In the back of my vest, I always have a one-foot torpedo level for scribing line or transferring elevations. Thanks for visiting Lean Survey. There are plenty more best practice, quick tricks, and tip videos on the way. Be sure to like, leave a comment if you have recommendations for content, and click that subscribe button for more.